Hi teachers, in this video let's learn how to create a transparent cube in PowerPoint. This is based on a request from one of our subscribers. So let us jump right in and learn the technique. Before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. As always, we'll start from a blank slide. Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool, hold the shift button down and draw a square. You can see that the dimensions are 6.4 centimeters for height and width. Just for the sake of simplicity, let us round this off to a number like say 7 centimeters. The next step is to add a 3D perspective to this graphic. So let us right click, go to format shape, go to effects option, go to 3D rotation, go to presets and the preset I am going to choose is under parallel called as parallel off axis one top. So this is the effect we are going for. Let us place this over here. Let us add a depth so we can make a cube out of it. But then when we go to effects option and go to 3D format and choose depth option, we don't really know how much depth we need to add to make it look like a cube. For example, if I were to say 100 points, it doesn't really look so much like a cube. It looks more like a cuboid. So we need to find a simple trick to add the right kind of length. All I'm going to do for that is to pick up the line tool from Auto Shapes Gallery and then draw a straight line while I hold the shift button down and let us see what is the height of this line. When I go to shape format after selecting the line, I see that the height is 6.59 centimeters. I'm going to make this as 7 centimeters and hit enter. Since our length and width are 7 centimeters, the height can be 7 centimeters too. To visually distinguish this, let us give this black color and then let us try and increase the depth so that the depth matches this line. So let us select this go to effects option and then let us keep increasing depth by clicking on this up arrow and we'll stop just at the point where the line ends and that will ensure that the height is 7 centimeters for this cube. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. Now we can remove this line and delete it. Perfect. Now what you've got is a beautiful simple cube that you can use in your geometry class. Now let me make a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and I can place this over here. Now to convert this into a transparent cube, all we need to do is to make changes to the material. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let us first select this cube, then go to effects option, go to 3D format. In 3D format, go to material and here in special effect, you have this option here called wireframe. Click on that and instantly you have a transparent cube available. If you want to increase the thickness of these lines, you need to go to the contour and increase it to say around three points or four points. It's completely up to you. You will get this nice looking transparent cube. And this is as easy as it gets when it comes to creating 3D shapes. Now, the good thing about creating your cube in PowerPoint is you have the option to edit shape. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let us select this, go to shape format, go to edit shape and go to change shape. Let us try and change the shape to something else, maybe like say this trapezoid and see what happens. You can see that the top shape is now trapezoid. And if you want to change this to some other shape, let us go to shape format, go to edit shape, change shape. And let us change this to something like say this one called as pentagon. And you can see the difference here. And if you want to show the blocked version of it, you can do the exact same thing to this shape. Go to edit shape, change shape and choose the pentagon. And this is how the blocked version looks. So as a teacher, this method of creating your shapes for your geometry class is quite useful. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that we have created called Create Animated 3D Pyramid in PowerPoint. It will help you to demonstrate a lot of concepts like Maslow's hierarchy or food chain or any number of different diagrams that are all based on the pyramid shape. I will leave a link to this video right here on your screen. You can click on the link, go watch that video and learn how to create this very interesting shape that can come in quite handy in a number of lessons. I'll see you inside that video.